So I watch a lot of YouTube videos here on YouTube. Hopefully like you, hopefully you're watching a lot of these videos. But really I like to watch a lot of history and science type videos and these videos are all like animated. They're like explainer graphics or you know cartoon style and it's just really cool stuff. So in this video I want to show you how you can put together a full detailed scene that looks like it take a very long time to animate but show you how to do it within under 10 minutes worth of time. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to support this channel, please be sure to smash that like button. The likes you guys have been giving on the previous videos have been helping out this channel. So thank you very much. Be sure to destroy that like button. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started. So first I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up these templates in After Effects. When you're working on these type of projects, you're going to need the graphic files, typically Illustrator files, which you can download for free or you can have a designer put these together for you if you're not so much in the illustration. One place I get my free vectors from is from freepix.com. I'm able to type in you know, whatever I want and I can download free project files that I can use in my project like the one that we're using here. Um, I download this for free and you can find virtually whatever you're looking to find. So when you have the files downloaded, you'll see a .eps file or a .ai file. Uh, you can open up either one of those files. We'll do .eps and click on open and that will open up an Adobe Illustrator like this. And the only reason why we're here in Adobe Illustrator is to organize the file before we move over to After Effects. So when you're in Illustrator, you come here to layers and you'll see that we have just one layer. And what we can do is select everything and we come here to object and click on ungroup. And that will just have one layer and we see all these groups and paths here. Um, and what we want to do is just select the top layer here, click on the hamburger icon or the three lines and click on release to layers sequence and this will create individual layers for every object inside of your scene so for example i can say select an entire person here and hide them so now i'll be able to animate this very easily inside of after effects but what we need to do is grab all of these layers you know shift click them all and just bring them outside of that first layer you can delete layer one delete and you'll see Boom, we have all of our layers available to animate. One thing I would suggest doing is go through some of the layers and just rename some of them. This way, when you're inside of After Effects, you can be a little bit more organized because each of these layers will be a layer inside of After Effects. So I went ahead and renamed some of these layers. And when you're done, you go up to File, Save As, and you're gonna change this to a .ai file, Adobe Illustrator, and you save your scene, click on Save and click OK. And if you're in a time crunch, you don't have to create this work from scratch. You can buy animation templates for After Effects uh, from videohive.net. There's a handful of amazing cartoon and explainer video templates. I will link them below. You can check them out. And if they fit your project needs, they'll help you save a tremendous amount of time. Alrighty, when you have After Effects loaded up, all you have to do is bring in that .ai file that you saved to bring it over, ask you how to import it. Make sure you click on composition and you click OK. And one thing we'll do is come here and create a new composition. We'll make it 16 by nine. And we'll go ahead and bring in that Illustrator composition that we just imported and bring into our comp. We can ask our keyboard for scale. We can scale this down because now we have all of this room if you wanted to, to animate from left to right. So this is how you could expand a scene without having any cuts. It can be all completely seamless, you know, I guess camera movements if you want. So I'll position this right here for now. And now we can double click on this composition and we'll have all of those layers available to us right here inside of After Effects. Next, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a seamless background transition. Um, a, a little more seamless than that. To make the scene come to life, we have to add some overall movement to this, and this is gonna come through the buildings here in the background. So I went through here and I found the building layer right here. You'll see, boom, if I turn that off, the buildings are gone. We need to move these so it makes it look like the train here has movement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this buildings layer and we're gonna go to layer pre-compose and I'll click okay. And I'll go into this composition and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to center this in the middle of our work as best as we can, our comp here. And I'm gonna go to composition settings here at the top and I'm gonna bring in the width to close in on the sides of our buildings. And one thing you'll notice is that there's no space on either side of this. And we'll go back into our main composition. And I'll come here to effect, stylize, and I'm gonna grab motion tile. I'll increase the output width to maybe three, 400. And I'll add a keyframe for tile center. And I'll come here to the end of the animation because we want this to go on forever, or at least have that option to. And I'll just bring over the X value of the tile center. And this will allow this animation to repeat on forever as long as you continue to increase the output width. 
All right, one thing you'll notice is that this layering is pretty bad. So we'll take this layer, we'll pre-compose it again. And I'll come here and just grab the pen tool and I'll just mask that back into the window. So now we'll have this movement going on for as long as we need it to and it adds overall animation to the scene. I'm going to show you guys how to do object and character animations in mass production. What? I'm just a gnome. Animating individual objects is super easy to do, especially when you want to have a loop animation to it. So I'll go through our layers here. We want to find someone we want to animate, so maybe I will animate this person right here. What I'm going to do is double click on that layer and I'm going to come here and grab the puppet pin tool. And I'm just going to click a couple of points where I want to kind of animate. You really can't go wrong with the amount of points, but it's kind of tricky to figure out where to place them. So just go ahead and experiment with that. And I'll move forward here by one second. So after all my pins are placed here and I kind of want to figure out what I want to animate. So maybe I'll slightly pull that down and I don't want to distort way too much. So this is where you want to keep the animation simple. So maybe I'll bring her hand over here a little bit. You know, I can maybe move her head back and maybe I'll want to move her leg, but you see this kind of unnatural movement. So maybe I'll put a point down here, one on her knee there, and we can you know, maybe kind of adjust that by a touch and maybe I'll bring that foot in there. Okay. So then once all said and done, I'll come here and hit you on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes. So by moving forward in time, you'll see that we have two sets of keyframes. So with the keyframes that we have up here twice, you know, right here, we see two keyframes. We'll all click stopwatch and we're just going to type in loop out, capital O, open parenthesis, quotations, and we'll just select ping pong there, quotations, close parenthesis. Just copy the expression and all click and paste that expression into the other parameters that we have two keyframes in. And go ahead and select all the keyframes and you can hit F9 to make them easy, easy keyframes. So now this animation will go on forever. So back in our main scene, we have our animation that will go on forever. And now you can start applying this to individual objects in your scene to make it really come to life. I'll be honest, we really didn't know what to call this. So here's some extra tips. All right, so we have this overall animation here, but I wanna show you some tips to help you even speed this along. So for example, if you go back over to Illustrator, you can quickly grab like an object and change the color of it and it will update inside of After Effects. So I'll select this bottom here. I can probably change this color to maybe like a dark blue or something. And when I'm done updating the colors, I'll come here to File, Save. And back in After Effects, it'll take a moment, but it will update. And now we have our scene completely updated here in After Effects. So you can quickly change colors to help boost the contrast. But in your main composition, like I said, you can hit P on keyboard for position. You can add a keyframe for this and we can move forward here and we can create like a, you know, a pan on our scene. And of course, be sure to turn on motion blur. And once all said and done, you could have a scene just like this. So this is how you can put together a rather large detail scene within just a matter of maybe under 10, 20 ish minutes. And you can build out a huge cartoon or explainer video project. So that's another tutorial done. It's not like we're experimenting with content on this channel. You know, it's just a normal video, nothing different about it or weird or whatever, you know? So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more content like this. Be sure to hit that like button because you know, you want to help us out. And of course, you can hit me up on my Instagram. We post some tutorials on there every single week. I will drop that link in the description below. And always be creating.